So I'm at Sacsayhuaman, this uh, ancient monument that is a conundrum for most of the world above Cusco. And I came from up there, which is Kenko, kind of an underground ritual site. It didn't feel that good, to be honest. felt like they were slaughtering animals. So, and now I'm at Sacsayhuaman, like I said, looking up here behind me. And I'm just sitting in this little niche. Um, look at this cornerstone. Huge. Tons. Weighs tons. And I'm trying to tap into how in the world did they do this. Now it feels like it was ancient, 30,000 years old. Some of it does move. Everyone says, you know, they fit perfectly together. Obviously there's been earthquakes here. Okay? So there's been, you know, and, and a lot of it has toppled over. And I'm trying to feel how they did the stones. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting the gods, which is the ETs, like if you go to Amarumuru, or that gate, it's definitely interdimensional. It feels like what they did is these, the, the ET friends, brothers, taught the priests how to sing certain frequencies, this is what I'm feeling. It's about 30,000 years is what I get for this place, much older than we think. And it feels like they taught them certain frequencies with an instrument gold instrument similar to Egypt and they taught them to uh, sing certain frequencies that actually made the rocks well really weightless so there was no really lifting involved and then and the frequencies would also make the rocks soft it would make them soft so they would literally like take a piece that was pretty close to and and and, and they could slice it they had a slicer that's what I'm feeling when I go into these cracks, like these cracks right here. I feel after they're put in place, there's literally like a, a tool that kind of, he pulls away the excess, pulls away the excess, and so they get this shape. And, and they just set them, they're kind of soft, the rocks. There's a couple on the ground here, like this one, on the ground, that, you know, has fallen. And it's this shape, obviously, a corner shape here, a fitting shape. And then we just set them in. We just set them in, and it would conform to that shape. They would kind of cut it in close shape and then squish it down, kind of like a marshmallow. I know it's crazy to our current scientific dogma paradigm. And they kind of slice the top off. Most of the tops are kind of flat like this, where they, they'd shape it. Most of them are kind of flat. Most, so they would just prepare the new, the next actual stone to set down on it. So that's how it feels to me. It feels like a, a actual liquefying, not liquid totally, but like marshmallowy, marshmallowy uh, substance. And they would just set that into place and then peel off the top and kind of come down with a tool kind of like this. And then they would take, and also when you're squishing them down a little bit, they're kind of popping out. That's why they have that popping out shape. So that's what I'm feeling, tapping in. 30,000 years ago, Lemuria, but really an ET technology that's liquefying and um, being able to literally slice it like you were slicing sort of marshmallow material. That's what I'm feeling. It's a gorgeous place here, of course. I'm going to keep walking. All right, more later. Time will tell if my crazy theories prove true.